these things or things. Yeah. <laughs> They require the water mod for the drum thing, the airship mod for the propeller, and I would hope they require the train mod. It's kind of the main thing of them here. Yeah, they work pretty good. They're terrible at climbing hills, though. They go really fast, so yeah. If only they could climb hills with anything. You just set one of the things on a different control group or whatever on these drum things. And then you tighten it to engage the clutch and you loosen it to disengage it. To rope it up you just have to figure out how to rope shit up. It'll barely fit in a one large grid and that's if you're not turning. If you go really slow. That's about it. <laughs> Could use more propellers for more hill climbing ability, but what can you do? Make it any longer and it'll start hitting even more shit. So. There you go. Go down the hill now. The clutch isn't made perfectly, so it doesn't slip perfectly when it's disengaged, but, like, whatever, it works, so... I could probably make it better, but... Works as it is, I ain't changing it. It's just a waste of time. Until steam engines are added to the rails mod, this is the best we got. go slow on turns with these. They need more weights on the base, but if I put more weights on it, then they'd go even slower. For anyone who doesn't know, if you hold shift on a hand cart, you get a lot more power out of it. Useful for helping these get up hills or stopping them and whatnot. If you just let these things sit on the track somewhere just idling, they will eventually engage their clutches because the game is stupid. So make sure you either stall the engine or 
block them in from moving whenever you let them sit for more than a few seconds. Ain't my fault if the damn thing goes running your entire ore train off the pill. <laughs> Bees will debail if you go too fast. They will hit shit if you go too fast. These things are just deadly. If you go too fast. Even if you go too slow, they're still deadly. They spin so fast. Like, they can't climb a 20% grade. I debate their ability to make it around this tunnel or not. So I'm going to make it to the tunnel. Just holding W, I'm able to give it just enough to help it get up the hill, though. I'm not even holding shift right now, so. But, like, yeah, it's gonna hit there. He's ain't going anywhere on the own, no. It's too steep. Will that hit? Hmm. Let me find out. It will collide in this tunnel because it's not tall enough in some areas. So I'm not going to bring it through the tunnel unless I manage to turn the engines off. The only way that I really know of to turn the engines off is you take a little cube and you place it right there. Oh god. It's going down. Mistakes I've made. I have no clue how to get more RPMs out of them. This setup here seems to get the most out of them. Your mileage may vary. Sometimes putting these on the end makes it have more power, and sometimes it makes it have less power. I don't know with these things. They make no sense. Let's hope my hand cart can get this thing up the hill. really that hard to set up on the ropes. You just gotta remove one of the rope-by hooks on the clutch and put a weight block on it and then put a weight block on the propellers and the engine part and that'll make them all go towards gravity and then you can rope them up and they'll be nice and aligned. It's not really hard. And then you put a rope from the clutch drum to that little eye hook right there. And the length on the rope drum should already be set to about perfect length. Yeah. I mean, they work. You can't do hills, which is kind of what I needed them for, but... Better than having to hold shift everywhere. They do have enough power to get pretty decent trains moving across all non mountainous terrain, pretty much. Could probably build them in survival, I would imagine. All the components of it are buildable and survival. It's just a matter of making the thing. Yeah, you can see it done. Yeah, this tunnel needs to be definitely changed. You gotta, 
You're gonna be on reverse thrust and cart full reverse thrust going down this hill. There ain't no stopping these things. Or heavy carts, whatever. And half the time to restart these, or most of the time actually, to restart these engines, you just gauge clutch. And it'll start it usually. No clue how much pulling the power have in terms of anything. Other than they can barely get the mom damn selves up a hill. And that's with momentum. And if you know any improvements that you can make to these rotor engines that'll make them stronger. Nice to know. Yeah, be very careful on these entrances to buildings. Like if it rocks the wrong way when it comes in, it will hit that. say about him really took hours to fine tune making it right and fiddling with these stupid engines to make them get maximum horsepower you could make it longer but you're just asking for trouble making it longer because you're gonna need more weights to keep the thing on the ground but it would get more power these drums are nowhere near their limit of how much torque they can produce for these propellers. You just need more propellers. But I can't really want to make it longer. You could do without the clutch. That's no, that's a bad idea. You can't stop it so like it just kind of explodes itself because you can't stop it. Yeah. Nice if we had like some sort of clutch block that was activatable in like a key binded fashion like these are or something. That would make this so much simpler. Just have like a little tiny little one timber size thing that you just press a button and it engages and disengages. But whatever. Oh, that's about it. 